Hello and welcome. This is Stacker 2020 and today is a bit of a catch up. Um, I've done quite a few of these world coin silver pickups that I've made on eBay recently. And as I did promise on the last video, I would do a little bit of a catch up of what's been going on with me and the silver pouring. As you can see in front of you, where we have a bunch of the things I've done recently and been playing around with. Um, but I think before we get into that, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, what's been going on with the price movements recently. Now, you know, I don't do uh, real in-depth discussions or, you know, technical analysis, but I do follow the markets very closely. And uh, just to give a very brief overview of where I think we're sitting at the moment with the gold and silver prices, as they have taken a bit of a battering over the last week. Um, I think, you know, with the gold at the moment, it's not too unexpected where we're at. Um, gold has pretty much moved down to its 200-day moving average. I think where we're looking at for possible bottoms, um, I'd say as low as about $1,765. But I think we'll see for a while um, trading between that $1,765 and $1,800, 1810 sort of range. Um, but I do, you know, I'm still positive for the long, medium to long term. I just think in the short term, we'll see the this uh, little bit of volatility just as the news is coming out about the vaccines and the possibility of the lockdowns ending um, with silver I mean if we break below that $23 line then there isn't much support until we get down to about $20.50 which is roughly where the 200 day moving average is at the moment um, but we could see it drop as low as about $19, $19.50 um, but there is very strong support at that level so I would just be keeping an eye really at the moment it's to see if we drop below that $23 if we do then I would expect yeah you know like further falls probably down to about that $20.50 level uh, and possibly down to as low as $19 so that's just where I'm seeing it at the moment obviously I'm keeping an eye and uh, seeing what's going on um but uh yeah you know I really do Obviously, be careful, as always, you know, be careful of what you're doing and uh, make sure you know what you're doing. So anyway, let's get into it. What have I been up to recently and what I what have I been doing? Well, look, the good news is finally, 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 I do have my stickers on the way. So there is a bunch of them I'll be sending out straight away. I have also ordered some COAs, um, certificates of authenticity. So I will be able to... Um, you know, what I wanted to do to be able to sell them was to sell them with the certificate of authenticity, some stickers, that sort of thing. So I'm almost there. I am almost ready uh, to release a few onto the market. But in the meantime, while I was waiting, I was uh, playing around with a few techniques, as you can see in front of you, the textured bars. And um, well, look, let's have a look at what we've been doing. So the standard bars, first of all, you know, I was just sort of refining where I wanted to actually put the stamping and stuff. Now, the colors aren't coming out very well on here, but there is some nice bluey sort of tones um where i've antiqued it and yeah as you can see you've got the s20 bullion and then my i logo uh, just below it and i have forgone stamping on the back to do on the side so we have the 999 fine silver the 100 grams and then its production number so i'm doing with the 100 gram bars it's going to be 10 of them first of all in this style so I just got a couple of the examples out to show you. So we had number four there. Uh, you can see the blues a lot more on this one. Um, that's really nice sort of petrol blues on there. And uh, I'm just going to see maybe if I dim the light a bit. I'll get a slightly better view of it. There you go, yeah. And again, yeah, just going for the side stamping. So this was number three. Um, so I was very happy now with the final product for these 100 gram bars and then with the 50 gram bars um, obviously you don't have the side space so I've gone with the front stamp um, with the S20 bullion and the i logo 
and then on the back in a much smaller lettering 9995 silver uh, 50 grams and then the serial number down there number one so yeah I, as i said i'm very happy now with that final product and having been able to get the s20 stamps in then what i started to do was just play around a little bit with uh, like texturing so this is a 50 gram bar as well um, again you can see the i logo below the s20 bullion and uh, yeah this is using uh, hammering so a ball pain hammer I haven't numbered this yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing like a series of these. But uh, yeah, I was very happy with how it came out. Uh, it's a lovely effect. And I mean, it's very time consuming, but it's actually very enjoyable to do. Um, so yeah, so that was the a 50 gram I played around with. And then this one here I really liked as well. So this is a 100 gram bar. This is stamped on the back with the logo and then sides for the um, weight and fineness. Now, I don't know if you can notice the difference in textures, actually. So the top, I have used a ball pain hammer again to get that lovely uh, dimpled effect. But then I actually made myself a texturing hammer. So I took a hammer and you know carved into the steel a very random pattern so that when i stamp it out i get this lovely i don't know like it's it's almost like a rock face to me you know i'm very happy um with the effect that my texturing homemade texturing hammer sort of gives to it um yeah it's very varied and interesting uh, the texture on that so yeah so so this you know is using multiple um textures here so that was just one attempt and then i thought i'd attempt like a ripple bar with the textured edges and again i've gone multiple textures so on the ends i've used my texturing hammer and on the sides i've used uh, the ball pane hammer and then stamping on the bottom for this one and the last one, which I was very happy with, let's see if we can get the details. So with this one, I've done the, the ball pane hammering on the sides and top. I've done the textured hammer, my own textured hammer for the bottom. And you can really see it there, um, you know, that multiple sort of effect. I'm, as I said, very happy with it. it actually, uh, you know, I'm really like the effect it gives. Um, and then I've stamped a little design. So you've got my eye in the top left corner. And then I've stamped this little flowers and leaf design. Um, I just wanted to try something different out, you know. And I, I've got to be honest, I was very happy. This is just like a, a single leaf stamp and a st single flower stamp. So I have just like done multiple stamps of them to make this little collection and then used uh, I think just straight edge of a, a screwdriver to get the little stems in there um, and I, I have got to be honest I think it came out quite nicely it's a nice effect to have the texture with the sort of image stamped in I think so I definitely think it's something I'm going to do in the future is maybe a little series like this but for now I'm still just playing around trying to you know do different things I have done a few more sand castings um, and uh, yeah, just getting to grips with that but I'm getting more confident with the sand casting now and uh, yeah overall it's uh, been it's been a really enjoyable process you know learning these things and trying different things out i've had a few failures which just go back into the melting pot basically i've had a few which i've done and then um in the polishing and finishing i've taken off a little bit too much and they've come in just under 100 grams so you know there's a few mistakes i've made and i'm learning as i go but uh, overall, yeah, I've got to be honest, I'm very happy with my progress with it all. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys like them too. And uh, eventually I will get to sell them. Now I should get my stickers and COAs and everything um, within the next uh, like three or four days. I'm hoping by the end of the week, uh, if not definitely early next week. And uh, yeah, as I said, from that point onwards, uh, I will be ready to sell 
uh, if anybody is interested. And if you're interested in any of the pieces I've put in front of me, obviously you're welcome to contact me. I'm always up for trades as well. So um, even if you don't have the physical cash to do it now, maybe we can trade for something else. So thank you so much if you've been watching. Um, you all have a great day. Take care and bye-bye.